Hello, beautiful family in Jesus Christ. It's Stephen here. I think it's the 23rd of February in the year 2022. And my name is Stephen. And if you are new to this channel, I am a preacher of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Because if you want to be saved, and if you want to enter into heaven, then you must believe the gospel. Because there is no other way. Jesus Christ said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. And the Bible tells us that we all have sinned, and we all fall short of the glory of God. And if any man says that he has not sinned, he makes God a liar and his word is not in him. But we've all sinned and the Bible says the wages of sin is death. But the free gift of God, which God wants to give everyone. God is love, but he's left us. God so loved us that he's given us a choice between whatever... We, we, can choose, we can choose him or reject him. We can receive the free gift of God, which is everlasting life through Jesus Christ, or reject him. I pray that you don't be one of those people that reject the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, who died on that cross to shed his blood for the forgiveness of all our sins, our lifetime of sin. When you believe that he was buried and rose again on the third day, Jesus died on that cross for you, for your sin, and you're not ashamed to admit you're a sinner in need of a saviour, and you call upon Jesus. I said, come into my life, Lord Jesus. He did. He saved me. He justified me before the Lord Almighty. I was sealed with Holy Spirit of promise and sanctified. And if you believe the gospel, that's the same that will happen to you. You'll become born of God, born again. You will have repented unto salvation. Um, and you are now a child of God when you believe the gospel, which I just told you, how Jesus died for all our sins, that he rose again from the dead. That's the gospel. And at this very late hour, please believe because at any moment, um, the Lord Jesus Christ shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trumpet of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first, and then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord Jesus in the air, in the rapture, and so shall we ever be with the Lord Jesus. Jesus is coming. We know because the tribulation is a pre-tribulation rapture when Jesus takes us up. It's a pre-tribulation rapture. And we can see that the tribulation is really showing its ugly face now and is about to break forth. So that means that the Lord Jesus Christ is coming. I might not even get to the end of this video and I'll be called up with all born again believers. Every born again believer who has believed the gospel truly in their heart um, will be taken in the rapture. Um, so guys, I've had a right lot of messing around today. Just let me uh, swap hands. Um, so I, many of you know I've, I've got this toothache and I, I mean, I'm in quite a lot of pain. Um, I've, I've managed to see a dentist and they prescribed me with antibiotics, which is what I knew I needed. And, um, and they're gonna pull the tooth out in uh, a week's time. So I had that yesterday, that cost me 85 quid. And then this morning, I'm, I'm just messaging people on my phone and the screen just went blank. And then it came back on for a few seconds, just went blank. And the noise of the on and off button, you, you can hear the noise of it coming, clicking on, but there's nothing could do, could do with it, at, nothing at all. The screen was completely blank. 
So I took it to um, Tesco Mobile, which is where it was from. But it was on, it was ordered online. But they have a little um, technician and a, and a and a salesman there in Tesco. So I went and bought a new phone. That's what I had to do in the end. I had to buy a new phone. Um, so I put the same sim into this new phone, which I, I'm filming with now, and uh, and, and um, the only problem is, all I, I, because I can't remember my password for my Google account, I can't get up all my files. I can't see my files, I can't see my photos, videos, nothing. Obviously I can still get onto YouTube and do my YouTube um, videos like this, which is the most important thing, um, really for me, is to do these videos for you guys each day because I know that you uh, you enjoy coming out for the walks with me and hearing scriptures, so uh, I want to keep it up. I want to keep it up on a daily basis. I told you I'm, I'm never going to go so long again without making you guys a video. Because you're all beautiful people. I love you all. And um, I can tell that you are beautiful people. Because out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. And the comments that you've left me, the emails that you've sent me, you're all lovely people. So obviously, you have the love of God in you. And uh, I appreciate you all. You're all amazing. And uh, um, I thank God for you all. So, I'm going to walk up here. i tell you something, guys. We are on the verge of something so big happening, which I truly believe is the rapture. Um, and I believe immediately upon the rapture that war will break out. Um, I mean big war. Big, big war, where I believe millions of people will die, according to the word of God. Um, death, uh, famine, war, when the apocalypse begins. And if you're not saved, then get saved now by believing the gospel of Jesus Christ so you don't have to be here for what's coming upon this world. You don't want to be here for it. It's going to be terrible. It's going to be, you're going to have a, a tran transhuman zombie apocalypse. I know that sounds far out, but it's true, there's going to be cyborgs, there's going to be robots, um, there's going to be a living hell, literally, hell beneath is coming up onto the earth during the tribulation, although guys just swap hands because I get an achy hand, hold on, there we go, um, so yes if you haven't believed don't waste any more time, don't hesitate, that, that, hes that slight hesitation could result in you being left behind when the rapture happens. Um, God doesn't want that for anybody. He doesn't want anybody. He wants all to be saved. All can be saved. We're not talking about religion. We're not talking about religion at all. We're talking about having some faith. Believing. That's all having some faith and believing on the Son of God and what he did for us on the cross. He did it for anybody and everybody who will believe. And, uh, hold on. I am chief sinner. So, if I can be saved, so can you, no matter what you have done. I mean, no matter what you have done, you can be saved. And I pray that you do get saved. I pray that you do not take the gamble that what I'm saying about war about to break out on this world is, is that it's not coming. That they've always been talking about that. This time, um, it's going to be for real. It's so, so, so obvious that we are in the final moments. The attacks 
the attacks. I'm, I'm, I'm in communication with so many different Christians from around the world. And all I'm getting every single day is, I'm attacked in the night. I'm attacked, my health, the this, that, witches, all the rest of it. And um, uh, we have to be strong. We have to be strong and resist the devil and he will flee. Submit yourself to God. Walk in humility with the Lord. Resist the devil, command him where to go in the name of Jesus. And he has to. If you're a born again child of God, you have all power over the enemy. And nothing shall by any means harm you. The wicked spirits are in subjection to you. It's not the other way around. They don't have power over you. It, the, Jesus said, but you, he says, I give you the power over them. And uh, not that we are to rejoice about this, but we are to rejoice that our names are written in heaven above. So I'm going to try and think of a, a psalm to tell you guys. Hold on, sorry about this. Uh, I'm going to learn to use this selfie stick that I've got in the bag at some point. Maybe with this new phone it, I might be able to work it out. So, I haven't, because of, uh, I'm going to have to get Cash App and PayPal uh, back on to this new phone. Cause it's not it's not on my new phone obviously I've got, I've got to go go home and download all this now and and uh, the, all, all kinds of things which are lost and I can't get it back because of my Google password unless I can find it at home because I wrote it down it's just where I wrote it <laughs> anyway guys um, I, I want to encourage you all I want to encourage you all and I want to pray for you all um, right now in, in the name, above every name, Jesus Christ. I ask, Father, that you bless everybody watching. Dear Lord, I pray that you keep them in your perfect love. Keep them in the shadow, in your shadow of the Almighty in the name of Jesus. Lord, make thy face shine upon them, Lord. Be gracious unto them, lift up your countenance upon them, the strength, the health, the beauty, the light and the power of his countenance upon you and give you peace and deliver you from every evil work in the name of Jesus. Strengthen your hearts in the name of Jesus. Grant the desires of your heart in the name of Jesus somebody is sick and not well father heal them in the name of jesus amen just remember guys jesus said ask and you will receive and i've noticed that i myself don't ask enough and uh maybe you guys are the same uh we should ask the Bible says the reason we don't have what we want is that we don't ask God for it. And when we do ask, we don't receive because we ask with the wrong motives that we might spend on our pleasures. That's what the Bible says. But ask, guys, ask, and it shall be given to you. Jesus said nothing would be impossible for you. Nothing at all. Always remember that. Um, but if you're if you're doing a, if you're doing the Lord's will, um, walking in His ways and being obedient to Him, and uh, loving one another, you can go to Jesus. You can go to the Father through the Lord Jesus and ask Him for anything, and it shall be done for you. Jesus said, if you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you can say to this tree, be uprooted and planted in the sea beyond there, and it would obey you. That's, that's what the Lord Jesus said. 
So I'm preaching to myself, guys. May the Lord strengthen our faith in Jesus' name. Amen. Guys, um, don't get depressed. When you feel depressed, rebuke the spirit, because it's a spirit of depression. If anybody's depressed, Father, I command the, that the wicked spirits of depression and anxiety leave them in Jesus' name. They have to come away from them right now. Um, hold on. Unto thee, O Lord, do I lift up my soul. Oh my God, I trust in thee. Let me not be ashamed. Let not my enemies triumph over me. Yea, let none that wait on thee be ashamed. Let them be ashamed which transgress without cause. Show me thy ways, O Lord. Teach me thy paths. Lead me in thy truth and teach me. For thou art the God of my salvation. On thee do I wait all the day. Remember, O Lord, thy tender mercies and thy loving kindnesses, for they have been ever of old. Remember not the sins of my youth, nor my transgressions. According to thy mercy, remember thou me for thy goodness sake, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord. Will he teach sinners in the way? I don't know who this is for. I just got to decline it a minute. Um, oh, I've forgotten what I was saying. Remember not the sins of my youth. According to thy mercy, remember thou me for thy goodness sake, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord. Therefore will he teach sinners in the way. The meek will he guide in judgment. And the meek will he teach his way. All the paths of the Lord are mercy and truth unto such as keep his covenant and his testimonies. For thy name's sake, O Lord, pardon mine iniquity, for it is great. What man is he that feareth the Lord? Him shall he teach in the way that he shall choose. His soul shall dwell at ease and his seed shall inherit the earth. The secret of the Lord is with them that fear him, and he will show them his covenant. Mine eyes are ever toward the Lord, for he shall pluck my feet out of the net. Turn thee unto me and have mercy upon me, for I am desolate and afflicted. The troubles of my heart are enlarged. Oh, bring thou me out of my distresses. Look upon my affliction and my pain and forgive all my sins. Consider mine enemies, for they are many and they hate me with cruel hatred. Oh, keep my soul and deliver me. Let me not be ashamed, for I put my trust in thee. Let integrity and uprightness preserve me. For I wait on thee. Redeem Israel, O God, out of all of his troubles. Amen. So, guys, Psalm, 20, Psalm 25. I love it. It's, it's, it's got everything in it. Um, very good psalm. Um, I need to start learning some more. Uh, just You just learn one verse a day. Or one verse every two days. Um, it's not so difficult once you once you try it. Um, and that's another thing I would encourage you to do. Is whatever you're going to do. If it's troubling you or you, anything. Take a step of faith. Take a step of faith. And God will do the rest. If it's things that you're doing according to his will. Um, like if you're going out to preach or hand out gospel tracts, take that step of faith, be encouraged, um, and he will be with you and he will not forsake you. He's promised that he'll never leave us or forsake us. 
uh, we're in his hands forever. So I love you, family. I love you so much. And I was gutted this morning when this happened to, the, to me old phone because I, I wanted to do you a YouTube video. I was so, I was so on fire this morning. And then all this, um, I could have let it um, distract me away from the Lord, but I didn't. It got me a bit down and a bit frustrated, but I thought, no, stay calm. There's no point getting angry and, you know, uh, anxious about it. I just, uh, I thought, no, I'm just trusting you. When that happened to my phone this morning, first of all, I thought, ah, we're under attack by Russia and they've cyber attacked us, which is very likely, but it wasn't that. Um, I looked out the window and saw people using their phones and I thought, well, it was just my phone. There's absolutely no reason for it either. It just, uh, you just don't build things to last, do they? Um, I mean, it was quite an advanced phone. It was, it was more expensive than this one. But um, I just got, well, it's not so, so basic, this new phone. It's just, uh, it's got on everything that I need to carry on doing these videos for you guys and um, reminding you all uh, that uh, greater, greater is Jesus Christ that is in you. All of you who are born again, Jesus Christ is in you. Greater is the one that is in you than the one that's in this world, Satan. And we can do all things through Jesus Christ who strengthens us. He is awesome. And I give you glory, Father. I am not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. For it is the power of God unto salvation for everyone that believeth. So if you haven't believed, it's so important. The most important message that anybody will tell you in this world is how to be saved. Because this life is but for a moment. Eternity is forever. So please choose wisely. Choose Jesus Christ. Choose to believe on him. And I tell you something, you'll be so glad that you did it. You'll be so glad and you'll think, why didn't I do this before? Why didn't I take that step of faith and believe on Jesus? And, you know, you will. You'll be so glad and you'll just know. In, you'll have a knowledge. Holy Spirit will indwell you forever and you'll have that knowledge inside you um, that you are going to heaven. And you can never lose your salvation. Far too many people mix up salvation with o obedience, obedience to God, walking with God, discipleship. Because salvation is a one-time event which happens the moment you believe. The moment you believe you're sealed. But uh, growing in the Lord obviously is a process and growing in your knowledge of the Lord, um, that is a process. But I tell you one thing, when I was born again, oh, all these buses and stuff, when I was born again, when I asked Jesus into my life, First, well, I was in a, a school that these Christians had rented and there was about a hundred people there and they did a sermon, told the gospel, I heard the gospel and I believed it in my heart during the sermon. That moment I believed it, I was justified. And then they finished the sermon and they said, if anybody wants to be prayed for, stay behind. So I did. And 99.9% uh, .9 of people left. It was just a small handful of people. Um, three, I think, that had stayed behind for prayer. I was one of them, and they said to me, these evangelists, pastors, 
What would you like us to pray for? This was in 1992. They said, what would you like us to pray for? And I said, I don't know. I said, uh, I've, you know, I've got this problem, that problem, I've got a problem with alcohol. Um, and they said to me, have you ever asked Jesus into your life? And I said, no. So they said, would you like to? And I said, yes, very nervously. I was only 22 years old, so of course I was nervous. And, and they just said, just do it. Just say, please come into my life, Lord Jesus. So I did. In fact, I didn't even say, Lord. I just said, please come into my life, Jesus. That's all I said, I think difficult to remember but what I remember being suddenly well I had these evangelists praying for me as I asked Jesus into my life and they laid their hands on me and patted me gently like this and were saying in the name of Jesus like this and uh, uh, the Holy Spirit came upon me and I started laughing. I started laughing. I wasn't mocking or anything. I was a uh, Holy Spirit joy. And then, ooh, then, all of a sudden, in a split second, my gosh, I felt like I was crucified. I felt like I was Jesus crucified myself. And, uh, and I felt the most amazing love that I have ever felt. Absolutely so amazing that, well, I was an alcoholic. I was a street, street person. I was, uh, I used to get into trouble, drunk and disorderly. I used to fight. So I did all this stuff and I, I thought, how can God love me, you know? And he showed me that he more than loved me. So much that he died for me. And um, I realized just how much love Jesus has for the whole world. And, and I, I wept, wept and wept. No, I bawled. I bawled my eyes out. I sobbed and sobbed. I don't know, for, for, for a while, and then I just felt, I just felt free. All my burdens were taken off me in a twinkling of an eye. And I, I, f I felt, I felt like, um, because I was, because I was a, a drug user, I used to take anything and everything. I, I, th I thought, well, wow, this is good. This is better than any drug. And that's what I said to, to the people. I said, what was that, I said. Because something came upon me. It was like, whoosh, like this. And it was Holy Spirit. And uh, I said to the evangelists, what the hell was that? Like this, you know? And they said, oh, that was Holy Spirit. And that's all they said to me. And I said, Holy Spirit. And I so I, I didn't have a clue about the, much, much about the Bible at all. So, um, but they didn't nurture me up or bring me up in the faith. And I, I, I didn't fall away from the faith. I still always believed in Jesus. But I went and did things. I went back to my life, sex, drugs and rock and roll. And the Lord... Uh, delivered me from that lifestyle and and uh, I'm happy I got peace about me I got peace I don't always have peace you might see me in videos of one day where perhaps I look crap <laughs> perhaps I look unwell um, it's very likely but I'm going to do you a video every day even 
if I am looking crap and feeling unwell. So you know that I'm just a man. I'm just a man. Um, uh, we're, we're all susceptible, no matter whether we're saved or not, to to life's troubles. And uh, where was it going with that? Anyway, guys, I love you very much. I'm going home now, so as you can see, this a beautiful day today. Um, no chemtrails, which um, makes quite a difference. But very soon, guys, we are going to be uh, lifted up. We are going to go up because we are what is holding back the Antichrist and this new world order tribulation apocalypse we are what is withholding back the Antichrist and the apocalypse from starting because each born again believer has Holy Spirit in them which is restraining the Antichrist and we very unlikely that we'll even see the Antichrist. Well, we might see him. Uh, he's out and about and he's alive and well. And very soon he's going to be revealed as the, the saviour of the world. And all those that didn't love the truth will worship the beast. And they'll receive his mark in their right hands. 666. The mark of the beast. And... Uh, that technology is all ready to go. And people are going to be absolutely amazed at what is going to happen to people in the tribulation because they've got super soldiers. They've got transhuman super soldiers. If you don't believe me, just do some research. They have. And... The, the technology that I've got in my hand, well, they, they have technology perhaps 50 years in advance of this. So you can imagine what's going to be unleashed on this world. Robots, cyborgs, um, the return of the Nephilim, the, uh, the giants... I don't know if they're coming back in giant form, or, uh, but they'll come back during the tribulation as it was in the days of Noah. So shall it be also at the coming of the Son of Man. So we're in those days of Noah now. Um, we're also in the days of Lot. And people are just carrying on, eating, drinking, marrying. I know we have to carry on living our lives, but... The majority do not know what is going to happen. I mean, it's going to be... People are going to disappear. I'm just going to disappear. And it's going to be absolute anarchy. Absolute anarchy, chaos. And then this Antichrist will come on the world stage and bring order out of chaos. And I reckon that they will have a a brief space of like utopia if you like they'll have a brief time of where things probably go well and they're all really happy with the mark of the beast in their hand and, and being able to perform their magic with the mark of the beast and uh, all the rest of it and, um, and then then all hell all hell will break loose some destruction you don't want to be here for that if you haven't believed so please believe it doesn't matter what you've done Jesus Christ loves you he loves you so much all he's asking is that you believe that's it not religion I'm afraid these these, these churches on for the most part um have not told you how simple it is to be saved. I'm not going to start speaking against all the church because um, 
there are some good churches out there. Tim Henderson, his church, I wish it was here in my town. I'd love to go to it. But um, th these churches are all owned by Freemasons. And they all have Freemason symbology in them. And I'm going to show you some, if we're still here. I'm going to go around and see, picture, film, all the satanic symbology within these churches and prove to you that they are owned by Freemasons. And I'll tell you now, I have never heard the gospel preached in any of these churches in this town. And I'm talking for 19 years that I've been here. I've been around them all. I've never heard the gospel once. And I've never heard anybody preach from Revelation. And I don't think that's coincidence, because it's the only book in the Bible that promises a blessing to those that read it and keep the things that are written therein. So if you want blessing, read, read um, Revelation 3 to the Church of Philadelphia. Um, let me see if I can recite what, Je what Jesus said. Uh, to the Church of Philadelphia. Let's have a look. Hold on. Now, unto the unto the angel of the church in Philadelphia, write: These things saith he that is holy, he that is true, he that hath the key of David, he that openeth and no man shutteth, and shutteth and no man openeth. I know thy works. Behold, I have set before thee an open door, and no man can shut it, for thou hast little strength, and hast kept my word, and hast not denied my name. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews and are not, but do lie. Behold, I will make them to come and worship at, at your feet and to know that I have loved you. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast that no man take thy crown. Uh, to him that overcometh will I make a pillar in the temple of my God, and he shall go no more out. And I will write upon him the name of my God, and the name of the city of my God, which is New Jerusalem, which cometh down from heaven from God. And I will write upon him my new name. He that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. So hang on guys, I love you. I'll have to get off now and try and figure out this flaming device. Uh, ain't it going to be great when we're in heaven and uh, we won't need these things. I'll be so glad, I really will, because they, <laughs> they take over your life. They really do, but I mean I'm using it for good things. Um, it's you guys that keep me going it really is it's you guys uh, just reading your comments know that just to know that you, you love me and you care it moves my heart it really does so alright guys bye for now I reckon maybe the next time you'll see me it might just be up there, it might just be up there, as we are taken up through the clouds, past them clouds, up, 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 to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with him, in paradise, in the third heaven, in paradise with everlasting joy upon our heads forever and ever, and sorrow and 
crying and dying and pain will be gone. So hallelujah, guys. Be encouraged. Remember that when you pray, remember. I always tell you this, but I want to remind you that every time you pray, remember that he is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think. And remember this. Oh, sorry, that was Ephesians 3.20. Remember this, that God causes all things to work together for good for those that love God, who are the called according to his purpose. So, and that we can do all things through Jesus Christ who strengthens us. Lord God, I ask you to protect, protect my subscribers, every one of them, Lord. Everybody's watching this. Protect them. Give your angels charge over them, Lord, that nothing shall happen to them. In Jesus' name, because you'll keep them safe, Lord God, and blessed. In Jesus' name. Amen. So, guys, I'll get off. I love you. Uh, hopefully, it will be up there where I see you next. All right, guys. I love you. Jesus loves you even more.